A square meter of living space in Hong Kong can cost $25,000. And to squeeze in those with limited funds, a new trend has emerged, microflats. The compact high-end apartments are aimed at young professionals. Winsome Fung is given a tour of one of the latest launches. This 21 square meter apartment just about fits her budget of half a million dollars. I think it's hard to have really an extend family in this kind of house, even though not just say having a kid, even you, you just sometimes want to invite some friends, you will feel shame because like every time they want to go to the washroom, they have to pass through your master room. Recently engaged, she was hoping to buy an apartment, but it meant choosing between having a family and owning a property. What's happening in many other societies is if young people can't leave home, they can't get married. If they can't get married, they don't have children. So you have this issue about falling fertility rates that some people would link to what's happening in the housing market. Hong Kong has a declining birth rate and these micro flats are proving popular. Developments are sold even before construction is completed, like this one. The average size of the flats being built in this construction site is 15 square meters. That's about two car park spaces. Now, the government's dismissed calls to legislate on a minimum area, saying that these small apartments give young people a chance to own a home. For Michelle and Andy, it took a lot of work and imagination to create the home they wanted in a space they could afford. But they admit it couldn't have been done without financial help. I think it is very difficult for young people to buy apartments now, um, especially if they, um, for example, don't have family support. We were lucky we had family support. Um, or if you're not able to save, um, just by virtue of the fact that Hong Kong can be expensive. And prices show no sign of leveling off. You have to look at the genuine end user demand and also the long term investment demand. You know. uh, I think for the time being, is uh, both are pretty strong. Which means young home buyers will have to keep adapting to smaller and smaller apartments to fit their budget, but at a cost to society beyond their price tag. Divya Gopalan, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.